Hello there everybody, boys, girls, lords, ladies and gentlemen, this is of course the great and glorious scene to be famous one need back on the camera again one more time, hi there, how the heck's it going? Now this is a video about a private message I've received, that's right, we're going back to some of the old format, the sort of thing I, I used to do a little while ago, a few months back before I started to experiment with a few different avenues and a few different ways of doing this whole sort of like youtube -y, vlog -y thing, which of course I'll be going back to and blah, 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 blah. but you don't want to know that, what you want to know is what I'm about to tell you, because what, what I'm about to tell you is basically based upon this information information which I've been given by this wonderful YouTube user. Uh, Jeebles, hi there. Okay, uh, Jeebles says, I want to thank you for your videos. I've been following you on YouTube for a while. It's great to have you as a subscriber, rater, follower, and viewer, and all that kind of cool stuff. It's great to see you there. I've been dabbling in the occult for a good few years now, and have come to realize that magic is the art of causing change to the self. To uh, elaborate, I once performed a hilariously elaborate ritual on a tra in a travel lodge hotel room to the deity Mercury Stroke Hermes in order to increase the revenue of my affiliate website. Within a few months, my website commissions almost tripled. I'm now making an extra 500 to 600 pounds a month in addition to my normal income. Interesting situation. Okay, the message goes on. During the weeks following the ritual, I found myself extremely motivated to promote my website, write articles, post YouTube videos, etc. As humans, we, as humans, we desire consistency in our thoughts and actions on subconscious level. This earns respect. My increase in motivation to work on my business was as a result of me being consistent with my initial desire to become a richer, as is symbolically emphasized through the performance of ritual. Another way of looking at it, is that you can either work harder to achieve your desire, i.e. being consistent, or risk feeling like a complete and utter twat, knowing that you spent two hours on your time naked in a dimly lit, scented hotel room with all kinds of ritualistic paraphernalia. And the only thing you've got to show for it is an unjustifiably expensive hotel bill and a signal which is not in the same state that it would have been otherwise. Sorry, I can't read that bit. I presume he means Burns. Am I making my point clear here? The gods don't exist, but our belief in them can help in causing significant change. There you go. You can use faith in an intellectual way, combined and coupled with other forms of exercises for the purposes of helping you to change the way that you think to help you achieve your desires.